Hello everyone and welcome back to The Learning Nook. I'm so excited you are all here to join me today because we have a great book that we are going to dive into. So this is the book we are going to read today. It's called Fox and it's from the website Slumberkins. They have a ton of great different resources for us that helps us with so many different problems that we may run into in our life and we might not know how to work with. Especially with this one today, this one is going to help us with anxiety reduction, family change, and coping skills. Because in our lives, there are a lot, of, there's always change. Change is always going to happen and it's inevitable, which means we can't even stop life from changing. But that's okay. We just have to learn the tools on how to handle these big life changes. So let's find out by reading about Fox's journey and find out how we can help ourselves when change comes along. So let's dive into Fox, written by Kelly Oriard and Callie Christensen. In the woods, amongst the leaves, lived a little fox, sly as can be. He lived with his family and each knew their role until something happened that he couldn't control. A big thing happened that made everything change, and things as he knew them would not be the same. His parents and his sister started acting quite different. He couldn't believe change could feel so instant. Before the big change, he knew what to do, but now life was different and he had no clue. His feelings felt like a big jumbled mess. He felt angry, confused, and tight in his chest. Have you ever felt that way before? I know I have. He started to fidget and yelp out in class. He stopped listening to his teacher and hid in the grass. That wasn't the fox that everyone knew. Now his teacher and friends were feeling confused. There were too many mixed up feelings inside. The big change had changed things and he wanted to cry. Sometimes change happens and we have no control when things are so different with family or school. When things, that, when things happen that are out of your control, Talk to the ones that make you feel whole. If you can't find the words, draw what you're thinking. It can help those around you know what you're feeling. One thing you know is that families, they change. Nothing, not even family, stays exactly the same. But what makes family special and keeps them together is the strong love that binds their hearts forever. If you feel that love, and I know that you do, name a person you know that loves you. And I'm sure there's so many, and I hope you know that I love all of you. So if you can't name a person, you can always name me. Because here at The Learning Nook, we are always here for you. When big change happens, and you can bet that it will, comfort yourself with these words that can heal. Repeat after me these things that are true. Let's make little Fox feel better, and maybe you too. All right, so you're going to repeat after me. I am safe. I am loved. I can get through this part. It's not my fault that things changed and I can keep an open heart. So my friends, if we're ever feeling sad about change, we can always read through that last part and know that we're not alone and it's okay to feel upset that things around you are changing. And it's also okay to feel like things are out of control because sometimes they are. We just have to be with the ones we love and name those feelings and that can help us get through anything. So I hope you all enjoyed our book for today. We have so many other ones we are going to get to read here on The Learning Nook and I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week. Stay safe, stay happy, and stay loved. 
I can't wait to see you all next time.